I want us to cross over and go to our roving man, Maxwell Agbagba. Uh, some parts of uh, CMB demolished over the weekend, and we're told that scores of squatters have been displaced in the process. But Maxwell is there uh, this morning with a live report. So, Maxwell, over to you. Yes, um, well, as you rightly stated, um, we're currently here um, at CMB, um, right here in the Central Business um, District. What, what you can see behind me, it's um, I mean, it's the debris and the I mean the destruction. Um, I mean, that was caused by the team here yesterday, um, trying to evict some of the people uh, who live here. Um, hundreds of them are currently here this morning, still not really finding a place to uh, um, go to today. Um, if you look through um, the rubble and what we have here, you can actually see um, personal possessions, you know, um, still mixed with the, uh, um, the debris of the structures that that were here, and a lot of them are um, makeshift um, structures. Um, some of the squatters who stay here are not willing to talk to us, but we'll try and get them, you know, to talk. And also, uh, you know, we we'll want to find out from them what it is like because um, the information we pick in from the ground is that they claim that a final determination on their eviction was to be determined by a court on the um, 19th of February and um, they least expected the eviction to happen um, yesterday. Some of them are complaining about that. They think that the Ghana Railway Development Authority has not really treated them um, fairly. Um, even as we came here this morning, we've seen some police officers trying to get them to move away from this uh, part of the you know, central business district, which has been uh, some way, somehow, you know, uh, uh, barricaded with... Uh, uh, um, some corrugated roofing sheets, but a lot of them are still adamant. They are not um, willing to go. We ask them, they tell us they don't really have anywhere uh, to go uh, to at this point. Let me try and get some of them uh, right now so we can engage them um, in a conversation. Chief, what's your name? My name is Prince. Prince, how long have you been living here? More than uh, six years. More than six years? Yes. Okay, at what point did you get information that you should move away from this area? Uh, they said we should move. There are somebody has uh, buy this land, so we should pack all our things. So yesterday, uh, Sunday we are all there. Saturday we are here, and they told us that Saturday, uh, Saturday or around uh, five o'clock they will come and just uh, spoil our uh, this place. So we are all here. We didn't sleep. We are uh, we live for the roadside. We are there, and then they came. Mm. And we were all of five pack our things, then they spread our house or everything. We have everything. Mm. I mean, this is the space where I live. They spread my everything. This is where the structure used to be? Yeah. Mm. They spread our things for all. So you don't have anything to say. Mm. If somebody say, yeah, buy it out. We, we went to court and they said that 19th. Mm. And they said that this week, Sunday, last week, Sunday, either the court has said 19th that it doesn't care. Sun, he's waiting for Sunday. He will come and destroy this place. So we don't have any uh, place to sleep. So, so why, why are you going to sleep right now? Because um, I, see, I see some armed police officers uh, going around trying to get you to move away from this area. But you are adamant, you're reluctant, you're still here. Yeah. By now, no, when they finish uh, collecting the things, no, they <laughs> when, they, when they finish collecting, the, they, they went home. So we, we just sleep here. What, where, where, where did you sleep? Yeah. Yes, yeah. You, I, I want you to walk, walk us to that place, even though it's dangerous, walk it around. Let's, let's try and see if we can. So that's where you slept today? Yes. See, okay. see the, some of them. Okay, so um, at this point, we can see um, two gentlemen still sleeping under this, um, this shed. This makeshift structure was demolished yesterday, Sunday, but the guys in there are still, you know, sleeping, not really... Um, I mean, realizing what is happening around them. So even though police officers are coming here trying to move them away, uh, they're unwilling to go. These two men are still sleeping in this structure that was demolished yesterday. So you, wh where would you be going today? Are you still going to sleep here even though your structure has been demolished? No, we are not going anywhere. We don't have a uh, place to go. Mm. Yeah. We can sleep here. Mm. When it's uh, 5 o'clock, then wake up and then just go into our job. Okay. Anyway, who do you live here with? My aunties and oh, my... you live here with your family? Yeah. Those people are all my family. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, interesting. Um, now let's try and talk to another gentleman. Uh, he's not willing to talk to us. Uh, Chief, would you want to talk to us? Uh, what's your name? Okay, um, a lot of them are not really willing to um, talk to us. I want to say thank you for agreeing to speak to us. But, um, Mamavi, when you come here this morning, um, this is what we are witnessing here. Um, a lot of the squatters are not willing to move away, even though police officers, we've counted about um, 10 of them, um, still here on the ground trying to sack them from this place, we are told, uh, would be given to a, 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 a private developer, would become more or less a commercial enclave, and they're trying to develop this place. We've seen an at moving machine um, trying to um, gather the rubble and also put the debris together so they can dispose them of so construction will start here at this place but these quarters are adamant and you're saying they are not going to move away from this place because they don't have anywhere to go mama v Uh, that's Maxwell Agbagbade bringing us uh, uh, a live report. He's our roving man. And that's the situation days after that demolition exercise. We'll keep you posted, definitely.